Welcome. Thank you for joining us for today's Amaxra Tech Talk. Today, we'll be talking about technology training. My name is Thane Belknap, and I'm a project manager here at Amaxra. With everything going on in today's business environment, technology has a critical role to play. Unfortunately, technology, like any tool, needs to be implemented well with continued employee development to really be used to its full potential. Let's dive into how you can help your employees get the most out of the Microsoft technology that your company invests in. Technology is playing a critical role in our lives today. It is allowing many of us to work remotely, connect with our teams while staying socially distant, and allowing business to still move forward. 92% of small and medium businesses are using one or more cloud-based solutions. Those cloud solutions decrease the workload of those businesses by at least 42%. Today, technology solutions are not only increasing productivity, but helping drive a shift in where work is done. Today's technology, however, is growing more and more complex. It's no longer something that can just be provided and expected that employees will know how to utilize all the tools available to them. Many employees may remember or think of Office 365 as simply Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. They may not realize that Office 365 has a whole suite of products and tools that allow them to collaborate more efficiently and from anywhere in the world. For those that do know that, do they know how to use those features? Like any tool, adoption is a key measure of success. How can you make sure that you're getting the most out of your investment? The best way to get high adoption rate from the technology you're investing in is to provide ongoing training to your employees. This might be self-service training, or it could be in the form of a monthly lunch and learn. The key thing is having training available to your employees so that they can continue learning about the tools that they have access to. Today, technology isn't something that can be left to employees to figure out alone. A top-down approach to training that inspires a growth mindset is required to make sure that the technology available is being fully adopted and utilized. Regular training will lead to better adoption of tools, improved employee performance, increased productivity, improved communication, and most importantly, you'll have a more adaptable workforce. These benefits are quickly becoming the drivers of success for innovative businesses. Many companies don't have the resources or knowledge to build out full training materials and workshops. That's where Quick Help comes in. Quick Help is a great tool for employee training. It has a library of up-to-date training for the entire Microsoft suite of products. Everything from how to create pivot tables in Excel to collaboration using Teams and Office Online. Courses are made up of a combination of materials, including PDFs, videos, HTML documents, and assignments. The videos and materials are designed to be no more than five minutes long. This makes them easy to watch or read and allows employees to learn during short breaks. Quick Help also provides live events where employees can sign up to attend a virtual training. The training is pre-recorded, but there are live trainers on chat that you can ask questions to. All of this provides multiple ways that employees can learn about the Microsoft tools they have access to. Whether you provide quick help to every employee or perhaps provide it on a rotating schedule and then task certain employees to put together lunch and learn sessions where they can teach others what they learned through quick help. It's a great tool to learn with. At $3 per user per month, quick help is one of the most cost effective learning platforms I've come across. It also has the ability to host your own custom content. For example, a Maxer hosts our internal company privacy and security training through Quick Help. We can assign the training to our users and make sure that they have completed it. Let's take a look at Quick Help. We've opened up Quick Help and we have our uh, landing page here. Starting from the top and looking down, we can see that here our top banner is actually showing us some competitive stats. Quick Help has some built-in gamification that allows you to see how you're comparing with others in your business. You can see how many points you have compared to your coworkers, and you can see how many badges that you've earned. Below that, you can see things that have been assigned to you. So your company administrators can pick particular tasks, classes, or skill paths that they think are relevant to you in your role and assign them. We can also see that you can set due dates for certain courses. Those due dates then will track and emails are sent, letting users know that they're behind and that they haven't completed a course that they should have. Lastly, below these, we have our upcoming events. 
All of these are the live events that I had just recently referenced. While they are pre-recorded videos, there are trainers that are standing by to be able to chat with any of your users that have asked questions. That allows users to ask questions in real time about things that they're seeing in the training or things that they might have experienced prior. To take a little bit more look at the badges, let's go to my profile. Here in my profile, we can see that I have a total of 10 badges. This one here, the first one, is the one that I want to call your attention to. You can see that it's the Amaxer Security and Privacy Badge. This means that this is from custom content that Amaxer was able to put together and establish. After completing that content, I was able to gain the badge that says that I had completed the required content for my company. We can also see then that the rest of these are courses from uh, Quick Help that I've taken and completed. Every time you complete a skill path or a course, you'll gain a badge that says that you're now a pro or a master in that particular subject. We can also see what groups I belong to. Here you can add different groups and you can see all of the groups and the people that are a part of them. Your company administrators will be able to set up different groups depending on different roles. This allows them to assign different courses and different material to areas uh, depending upon the skills that might be required for that particular group. Lastly, we can see that we have tasks. And our tasks are just showing us the skill paths or course that have been assigned to us and their due dates that they might be required. From here, let's go and search for some content. So let's say that we want to learn about Microsoft Teams. I'm going to just enter a search for Teams, and it's going to open up everything that we might have for Microsoft Teams. We can see that a lot of these say that they're skill paths. A skill path is a combination of multiple courses or assets that have been put together that will teach a certain skill. So by the end of that particular skill path, you'll have earned the credentials and the knowledge to have been able to have completed something specific. So let's say this skill path here, run live events with Microsoft Teams. We can click into that skill path and we can see that this one in particular has one course. So we're going to learn things like broadcasting live events, understanding live event roles, how to schedule our live event, and then we have a PDF walkthrough that's going to be a accumulation of everything that we've learned. After completing this particular skill path, Quick Help thinks that we'll have a reasonable understanding of how to run a live event using Microsoft Teams. We also have other assets. So if we don't want to look at a skill path, maybe we just want to look at a particular video about Microsoft Teams. We can sort and just see videos. So these are individual items that are going to be more specific than what a skill path would be. So here we can see how to share chats and conversations to Outlook, or even how to translate messages. You can see that all of these videos are relatively short, ranging from a minute and a half down to even just as short as 56 seconds. The goal of all of these videos is to be short, quick content that you can watch and see easily and quickly. Together, Quick Help combined with all of its different asset types and content allows for a great place for employees to be able to jump in and learn. They're able to search for items that they need in uh, courses and programs that they use every day. It will help them gain a better understanding of how to use those programs and ways that they might be able to do their job more efficiently. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to technology at amaxra.com. We're happy to help you figure out how you can implement Quick Help in your organization or what other training methods might work for your employees and your business. Thank you for joining today. As always, if you'd like to sign up for notifications about future Tech Talks, you can follow bit.ly slash join the Amaxra Tech Talk, and we welcome feedback or suggestions for future topics at bit.ly Amaxra Tech Talk feedback. Thank you again for joining and have a great rest of your day.